I am Adil Kumal sharing with you some important concepts regarding binomial expansions. We will talk about relations of sum of odd and even terms in binomial expansion. Here are a few identities for the sum of odd and even terms in x plus a to the power of n. Let O be the sum of odd terms and E be the sum of even terms. In that case, these are the three identities. Sum of odd terms minus sum of even terms is equal to x square minus a square to the power of n. 4 times their sum is equal to x plus a to the power of 2n minus x minus a to the power of 2n. And twice, sum of odd terms square plus even term squares is equal to x plus a to the power of 2n plus x minus a to the power of 2n. Now these identities really help you to solve many questions quickly. So let us first prove them. So if I have x plus a to the power of n in general, it could be written as n c 0, x to the power of n a is to the power of 0, plus n c 1, x to the power of n minus 1, a to the power of 1, plus n c 2, x to the power of n minus 2, 8 square, right? So, so like this, the series goes on. And we could write this as n c n minus 1, x to the power of 1, n minus 1, x to the power of 1, a to the power of n minus 1 plus the last term ncn x to the power of 0 a to the power of n so we have n plus 1 terms now that is your first term second third so these are your odd number of terms right so in this series you can club the odd number of terms as nc0 xn a to the power of 0 plus nc2 x to the power of n minus 2 times a square, right? So, likewise, will be your, let me write them as this part plus what we have here is the even terms, means term number second, fourth, sixth, and so on. So, we have nc1, x to the power of n minus 1, a to the power of 1, plus nc3 x to the power of n minus 3 a q plus so on correct so that becomes two different series this we are calling as our sum of odd terms right so i'm writing this as o and this series we are writing as e right so these are even terms t2 t3 t4 t6 these are t1 t3 t5 and so on so in x plus e to the power of n, that is what we get. Now if you do the expansion of x minus a to the power of n, then the alternate terms will be negative, right? So you could write them as, uh, let me just first write the series and then we'll write in this form. So that will be nc0, x to the power of n a0 minus, because these terms will be negative nc1 x to the power of n minus 1 a1 plus nc2 x to the power of n minus 2 a square plus so on, right? Now, the last two terms will have, we could write minus 1 to the power of n to be very clear since we don't know what is n, right? So, here we know it is 1. So, it's better to write this as ncn minus 1 x to the power of uh, 1 minus 1 to the power of n minus 1 a to the power of n minus 1. Is that clear to you? I wrote minus 1 since we don't know what n is, whether it is even or odd, right? The last term will be ncn x to the power of 0 minus 1 to the power of n, a to the power of n. Clear? So, clearly, 
this series could be written as sum of all terms which is n c 0 x to the power of n a 0 plus n c 2 x to the power of n minus 2 a square plus so on minus since these are negative terms right n c 1 x to the power of n minus 1 a to the power of 1 plus n c 3 x to the power of n minus 3 a q plus so on correct so x minus a to the power of n could be written as sum of odd terms minus sum of even terms now these are two important equations which we will consider to prove these identities right so so what we get here is our equation number one and equation number two correct so in this series x plus a to the power of n we get sum of odd and even terms in the series x minus a to the power of n, we get this as difference of odd and even term. So if I need to prove what is odd square minus even square, I just need to multiply these two, correct? When I multiply these two, I get my result. So you could actually pause the video, do it yourself, and then look into my suggestions. So let's move on and prove the first identity. So what we just proved is that uh, x plus a to the power of n is sum of odd and even terms. x minus a to the power of n is the difference of odd and even term. Correct. So these are our equation number one and equation number two. Correct. Now if we multiply them, what do we get? Right. So so if we multiply them, we get x plus a to the power of n times x minus a to the power of n equals to sum of odd terms plus sum of even terms minus their difference correct now here we could write this as x plus a times x minus a everything to the power of n right and here we get odd square minus even square now here is difference, sum and difference. When you multiply, what do you get? You get x square minus a square, right? So you get x square minus a square to the power of n equals to odd square minus even square sums. And so we have our first identity, which is difference of odd square minus even square is equal to x square minus a squared to the power of n. Is that clear to you, right? So we'll call this as our equation number three. Clear? Now let's move on and prove the next identity. Now we need to find, or rather prove, 4 odd OE is equals to x plus a to the power of 2n minus x minus a to the power of 2n. Now as far as 4 OE is concerned, we could always uh, use the identity that odd plus even whole square minus odd minus even whole square is 4 OE, right? So I hope this is absolutely clear. What I'm trying to say is something like this. Let me just show it here. So if I have odd plus even whole square minus odd minus even whole square this is odd square plus two odd even minus even square right minus in this case it is odd square minus two odd times even plus even square correct so so when you add them up these terms cancel and we are left with four o e correct so that is how we get this now what is sum of odd and even? This is x plus a to the power of n, right? So we get this as x plus a to the power of n, and we have this whole square minus. The difference is, as you've learned earlier, x minus a to the power of n, correct? So that is what we get, correct? Now, if I open this bracket, 2 gets multiplied with 3. So what we get here is x plus, so what we get here is, x plus a to the power of 2n 
minus x minus a to the power of 2n clear so we have shown our second identity perfect now let's prove the third identity which is 2 times odd square plus e1 square is equal to x plus a to the power of 2n plus x minus a to the power of 2n now uh, as we found initially x plus a is basically sum of odd and even right and x minus a i mean to the power of n sorry is difference of odd and even terms now we want this sum right so that means we have to square them and add them up right so what we're trying to figure out here is what is x plus what is x plus a n whole square right plus x minus a to the power of n whole square equals to this is what we're trying to figure out correct now we have this as equal to odd plus even whole square plus odd minus even whole square right odd minus even so we square them both so basically this was our equation number one this was our equation number two so what we do here is we square and add then add so you get this right so directly we get x plus a to the power of 2n plus x minus a to the power of 2n equals 2. So you would expand this and then get your result. It is odd square plus 2 odd even plus even square plus this one is odd square minus 2 odd times even plus even square, right? So that gives you odd square. There are 2 odd square plus 2 even square which is 2 times odd square plus even square clear so we get our third identity which is written there is that clear to you right so that is how we can actually prove these identities now we'll take a few multiple choice questions where these identities can be used to find solutions very easily i hope that helps Feel free to subscribe to my videos and if you like and share them with your friends, that will be great. Thanks for watching and all the best.